This is not the kind of video which I usually do, but I wanted to share a recent skill that I have learned, which is painting. Yeah, and why I learned it. But before that, intro. So this is a painting that I've been painting for the last few days. It's not complete yet. There's still so much of work left in the highlights, especially in the trees and the clouds there. But uh, I'm pretty sure by the end of this video, you'll probably see the complete version. But why did I learn painting? <laughs> now it is an interesting question if you look at the channel's name. Why would a science person learn something which is completely unrelated to science? In fact, it's quite opposite, the art. <laughs> so why did I do that? It's not something that I did intentionally. That's what I would like to share in this video. Now this whole process of me trying to learn how to paint happened around last year in the COVID-19 lockdown when the whole world stopped and everybody suddenly had a lot of free time. Now this was the time when everyone started uploading their artworks on Instagram. And this reminded me that because I was quite good in arts when I was in school, this uh, gave me a thought that why don't I upload my artwork on Instagram? And my brother suggested me that why don't I make some paintings as they might be used to decorate the house, as nobody had anything else to do. So I got a set of poster colors from a nearby art store and I started painting on the art paper that you get in an art store. I didn't even knew that there were different types of colors out there, which were the watercolors, acrylics, and the oil paint. All I knew that you use water and the colors and brushes. But everything roots back much earlier to my childhood because as a kid anything which i enjoyed in the world was art and i actually hated the studies very much and i in the, in the school time i actually got very good grades in art and i performed very poorly in anything else in fact i was so bad in studies that all of my teachers complained about me that what am i going to do but with time i got better in the studies much better than how I used to perform in my childhood and uh, as I started to understand things about how things should be and the pressure I had from the outside world. Now my art was still quite good. The art was left behind when it was no longer mandatory in the later years of school. Now after that I never really got to do art. But last year the reason why I continued doing art was because I really enjoyed it. Something which was natural to me and something which was really close to me. But as of today, I can paint in acrylics, oils, watercolors, no, not watercolors, uh, graphite and charcoal. So what is the procedure that I adopted to learn the skill? Well, in the very beginning, uh, all I did was just follow the YouTube tutorials and they work surprisingly well if you are a beginner. And I was able to create some amazing artworks, especially by following the different channels. Then as I got comfortable with different kind of brushes and the color mixing, I started using the reference photos and tried to copy them as much as I could. Uh, I wanted to create something of my own rather than copying a YouTube tutorial because it was someone else's artwork that I'm trying to copy here. And as things moved on and on and I got really comfortable with the acrylics, I tried the oils. <laughs> and they were really different. And they were in fact so different that today I use oils, most of them. For example, this painting is uh, currently on the oils. And Oils have something unique to them. They are just so much more, you know, because of the smoother blends, because of the different mediums, because of so much more control you have with them. I just love them. However, the only con with them and the pro of it is the drying time, which can, uh, you can use it accordingly. It can be a little hard to use it when you're working on trying to make of something which has involves very different kind of layers or uh, and they can be very helpful if you want to create much smoother blends especially in the skies. So how much has this skill changed me? And I would say it has changed me quite a bit especially the way I look at things. Things just uh, now look a little bit more deeper, rich and simply a bit more beautiful especially the nature. And 
This is something which is hard to explain in the words, but I have noticed this change within me uh, in the recent times. As art is so wide, the simplest way that I can put it is that everything just seems a little bit more alive. Now the greatest misconception that I think people have with art is that, which I also hear a lot of people say, is that they can't draw. Now <laughs> I would like to say that it's not something that you can naturally do. Now some people can be a little bit more talented and they might actually draw better in the very beginning. But if you proceed uh, in it as a skill, I would say with time anyone can just learn how to draw. You know, you just need to practice. Uh, it's just the uh, same as any other skill. For example, like playing a guitar. Uh, I, you know, I just can't say that I can't play a guitar because I don't know how to play. That's obvious. But if you try to learn how to play a guitar, you will definitely do it. So I think that is it for this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry that I didn't explain you anything in this video. I just wanted to share a skill that I learned and how it has affected me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.